Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, October 26, 2020. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. So we're going to look at Netflix first, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Tesla, and Facebook, and Google. And as you can see, on Friday, well, most of them did pretty well. Uh, at at this point, even though there is no stimulus or probably no sign of stimulus uh, before the election. So the Apple was down half a percent, uh, Tesla was down the 1.2 percent, and the other ones were uh, doing quite nicely. However, it uh, last week was pretty bad for most of these tech stocks. They fell quite aggressively, as you can see on the uh, Netflix, for example, the Netflix gapped down quite significantly on on, uh, on Wednesday session, and this was due to a lack of subscribers um, worldwide. Um, so, anticipation for whether or not um, um, Netflix will continue growing uh, basically went down. However, I just think this is a, a technical technical um, trade. We were going to go towards the hundred moving average didn't really matter what the news was or, or whatsoever. Um, Netflix has been trading in between uh, these highs and these lows now for quite some time. As you can see, we have tested the highs here nearly three times. We have a double top. We almost tested it here. And we tested these levels here several times. One, two, three, four, well, it's five, and this most likely will be the sixth time if we technically get there. And the reason why I say we technically get there is because the 100 moving average has been significant support for Netflix. We have breached it a few times in the past, but we never really broke uh, below uh, the 100 moving average. The last time we broke below the 100 moving average is all the way back in the beginning of, um, of this year when well, most stocks fell, and even then, and then we have to go several years back before we see uh, this stock breaking below the hundred moving average. So, in my analysis, the hundred moving average is absolute the bottom of this market. It may go a little bit lower, but this is a sign of entry to buy this stock. That is my personal opinion, and therefore, therefore, I have also bought the stock at this uh, at this point. So, if you look at technical indicators for for um, for Netflix, we can start off with the Bollinger Band, and as you can see, we have basically arrived at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. We may go a little bit uh, lower, but not significantly lower. We have been trading at the top and at the lows of the Bollinger Band. And this stock has behaved in the way that it has shot above the top of the Bollinger Band several Bollinger Band several times, but it does not do that at the lower part of the Bollinger Band. So this may be as low as we'll get before we basically turn around. And there are indications that we are about to, to turn around. You can see the CCI is basically starting to uh, show signs of growth again. So we may see this uh, stock um, go and test the 50 moving average within the next week. And within two, three weeks, uh, we should be well above the 50 moving average and testing these highs again. So Netflix has been the fastest growing stock, well, in the world the past 10 years. Uh, so there's no reason for this stock to fall apart. Even though there are more, there's more competition, um, Facebook has, in most cases, uh, the advantage um, over the other newcomers on the market. So, if you look at the MACD, it is still looking quite bearish. Uh, the same goes for the RSI. Uh, but the stochastic is about to turn around, and this is often an indication. What usually happens is that we go and test the 50 moving average, then we drop again, and then we uh, go to the upside. Um, I, I entered this market probably a little bit early, but... But it doesn't really matter where you enter here. You'll never be enter in a perfect um, in a perfect uh, price level um, because I I uh, estimated that a hundred moving average would be the bottom, 
as it has been several times. And my, I take my estimates of uh, of past um, behavior. So I thought this was the best entry for this market. It may go lower, but who cares? It will go up at some point. So you look at Microsoft. Uh, we are trading above the 50 moving average. We bounce from the 50 moving average. And at this point, we are about to turn around the Microsoft stock. And I say that because you can see the Bollinger Band. We, are, we have tested this uh, 20 moving average several times. And now we're about to go upwards again. The stochastic also showing signs of life. The same goes to CCI, but not the MACD and the RSI. So we may, we will most likely retest these highs. We'll run into uh, some resistance at the 226, and then we go to these highs of 232. There is um, that is most likely what's going to happen. If we break below that uh, 50 moving average, then we have the 100 moving average just underneath, which will be significant uh, support. If we look at Apple, Apple is basically hanging on to the 40 exponential moving average. And I would not be surprised if that breaks in the next week. Um, if you look at what happens for most of these tech stocks, when the um, Nasdaq basically fell apart. Um, Apple did not fall as far as most of these tech stocks. We never reached the 100 moving average, and uh, I was hoping for um, this stock to reach the 100 moving average. So it may well be that this is going to happen um, next week or the next two weeks that we are going to be uh, test this uh, 100 moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all looking very bearish for the Apple stock. Both the MACD, the uh, RSI, the CCI, the stochastic, and also the Bollinger Band are pointing to lower levels. If uh, the lower part of the Bollinger Band is right here, that is just above the 100 moving average. But I do think that will, it, I hope that will fall more than that. I hope that we bounce on the 100 moving average because that will be an amazing entry point for a buy. If we bounce from here, then of course we'll find uh, the $120 range uh, price level as uh, resistant and same goes for 125 and then to the all time highs of 137. If you look at Amazon, Amazon bounced. We almost hit the 100 moving average, but we bounced on Friday. Uh, this stock is about to turn around. You can see it on the stochastic. It is about to turn around a little bit here. We'll see it more on Monday. Uh, but the CCI is turning around, but the MACD and the, and the RSI are quite flat at this point. Um, in worst case scenario, we'll go to the 100 moving average and then we bounce from there. It, I would think it was would be quite strange if we fell, went up, and then fell again. That's not really how this stock has behaved. It's quite. It is. Uh, um, it is. It is following a pattern. It, when it goes up, it goes up. When it goes down, it technically goes down, and and so on. So so it is not very. Um, um, how do I say this? Um, choppy trading with with the Amazon stock. It is a, a quite uh, predictable where it basically will go. So a break above the 50 moving average opens the door to these highs of 3,487 and then to these highs of 3,558. If we were to break down from here, the 100 moving average at 3,082 will be significant uh, support. So let's look, let's look at Tesla. Tesla has... Uh, the 50 moving average has been for a very long time significant resistance support for Tesla stock. And we can see the same thing here. Every single time we get close to the 50 moving average, we bounce. Um, and I do believe that is what we're going to see also on Monday. As you can see from the stochastic, it is turned around. Uh, the CCI is quite bearish at this point. The same goes for the RSI, but the uh, MACD is quite flat. But we are hitting the lower part of the Bollinger Band, and that is usually a sign that we are going to go higher. There is not that the same volatility 
uh, in this or or volume uh, in Tesla stock as it was only, for example, in September uh, when we had this massive gains and massive fall and so on. We have been trading a little bit sideways. Nonetheless, the 15 moving average has proven to be significant support. If that breaks, then it opens the door to the, to the 150, and that is way down here at 331. Um, bounce up uh, from this level, we'll find quite a lot of resistance here at three, uh, 450, now 65, and then to the other highs here of uh, 504. So look at Facebook. Facebook rallied quite nicely on, on Friday, 2.4%. And now we are basically heading to these all-time highs. There is nothing preventing us. We broke the, the top of this candlestick here. So nest, nest, nest destination, I was about to say, is 303. Uh, it'll probably take a few days to get there, but uh, that is what, technically what this is indicating, that we are going to retest these highs. Whether or not we break them or not, uh, that is to be seen. Most likely not. We'll probably have a double top go back then and trade sideways uh, before the U.S. election. Technical indicators for, for Facebook are looking quite nice. Um, they are all quite uh, bearish, both MACD, uh, the RSI, the, the CCI, and the Stochastic. Uh, Bullet Japan is showing signs that we are probably a little bit overstretched, uh, but this candlestick here is, um, is a sign that we are going to go much higher. So Google, Google rallied most of the part on uh, last week from Tuesday all the way to Friday. We went from uh, from fifteen hundred and twenty seven all the way up to sixteen hundred and thirty three, and that is a gain of uh, nearly seven point five percent in a week, and that is quite impressive to be very honest. At this point, we are significantly overbought, so I wouldn't be surprised if we had a pullback on Monday. However, there is nothing in there is nothing uh, preventing this stuff from going to these highs before going back down. It's just I would not enter a buy at this point because we can basically break to the downside. Technical indicators are looking very impressive at this point. However, we are significantly overbought, so just keep that in mind. We may go to the top, but I would prefer a pullback towards the 50 moving average or even better, the 200 moving average in order to enter this market. Um, uh, selling opportunity is uh, possible if we reach the top here and then get a really uh, clear sign like we did here that we are going to go lower, that we're not going to go higher. Then it is possible to basically short uh, Google stock towards the uh, 50 moving average first and then um, in best case scenario towards the 200 moving average. So, hope you find this uh, video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.